Morning 52, how are you folks? In today's video, I am going to share with you a little bit of my road trip in four days riding a windy nine in Ohio with some great buddies, some good people, and some great memories. Stay tuned. Well, it's just been about a year since I have been on a nice motorcycle trip and uh, uh, Today, on the way to the Windy Nine in Athens, Ohio. i be meeting uh, four or five great friends, enjoying four or five days, hopefully with some uh, decent weather, though we hear we're getting some rain, and uh, gonna ride some really good roads in Ohio. I think uh, the Windy Nine is really mostly known for the triple nickel 555, so we'll definitely be riding that. But uh, more importantly, I'm looking forward to hanging out with uh, those friends. And this is a uh, kind of a meetup of a bunch of folks that have YouTube channels, do vlogging, and, um, and some friends of the channel. As a matter of fact, I am picking up one Doug on the way uh, here in about an hour who is going to uh to the meetup and he's kind of halfway for me so we decided to ride that second half together which is awesome so look forward to sharing that with all of you just outside of finley ohio and uh looking forward to tearing up some more miles and uh enjoying some great friendships So I picked up uh, Doug here at Cheats Gas Station. I, I appreciate uh, Doug leading the way in. Uh, we've been really mostly back roads, so we went around Columbus, thank God, and uh, really had some really cool roads to ride. We're probably a half hour out or so, and really nice being Doug. It's, it's interesting that uh, as I met him and I was at Sheets, so I had to go in and get a, get a hot dog. I mean, come on. Um, we are just kind of sitting there talking, and it's amazing how motorcycles bring people together. Um, you know, it's just like I knew the guy. you got so many common interests, even though people are all different. It's amazing in that connection that motorcycles brings us. So I, I appreciate uh, Doug for leading out. What a good guy. Well, I'm not sure where I put us, but... <laughs> We're not in town with all the traffic. That's for darn sure. Boy, it is beautiful countryside out here, I gotta tell you. Can somebody call Mrs. Bodie and tell her we're moving out in the country in Ohio? She'll think I lost my flippin' mind. You've arrived at your destination. This is us. And that is Harley Day Rider. Your good old friend, HDR. Well, we all uh, got in evening of day one. Ended up in this uh, really cool farmhouse. That some of the boys, that's uh, HDR's. Uh, Bronco rides and then tie from Tennessee and uh, I'm parked here, but it was a good ride up big. Thanks again to Doug um, I think we found a really cool place for us to stay out in the boonies somewhere, but uh, Super good day. We're gonna hit some of the windy nine today and uh, Look forward to some brotherhood and some great motorcycle ride The boys are back in town myself HDR Bronco ride and Ty from Tennessee. We're at the Windy Nine. We're about to tear it up. Let's roll, boys. Alrighty, folks. We just stopped at an Amish cave. We did. Yeah. There, are, there's a lot of uh, Amish folks here, which 
I find interesting. I'm not sure why. It's pretty cool. They were pretty nice. Are we clear? You're supposed to look for me. Yeah, we're good. All right. I hope I don't get run over by the army. So we are uh, we are out. Colin, where are we at? Colin's leading the group. Uh, old Man's Cave, old I believe, is where, and then we're on the uh, Hocking Hills Nippler or Nipper, something like that. Yep. So uh, a good day. A little cloudy, but the weather's been good. No rain and. Been enjoying some brotherhood, some great roads, and uh, and uh, Ty from Tennessee is with us, and yes, sir. Harley Day Rider, the Godfather. Hey, what's up, everybody? And of course, that is Bronco Ride leading us. And when Ty says the roads are cool, and he's from Tennessee with great roads, that's pretty good. So yeah. we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna uh, try to get lost again, grab some lunch, and uh, spend the rest of the day riding. We are back. Riding the back roads, a little highway. We just had some amazing lunch. That right there is the Godfather HDR. Say hello. Hey, hi, and of course, the anniversary bike. The Ty from Tennessee. The Bucky Lover. <laughs> and of course, our leader today, Colin Bronco Ride. Woohoo! been fun guys you having a good time having a great time oh, good day. Good day. where are we heading colin we are heading uh back on the Let's hockey go. hills oh roger okay i don't know if you guys remember i'm kind of dating myself but um remember that movie coming to america yeah oh yeah, 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 yeah. jack has his own wipers <laughs> <laughs> oh, wipers uh. <laughs> hey, you, you guys wouldn't even say what being a hard shape Todd last night. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm filling it up and everything, and nobody joined. HDR wanted us to get in the tub together, and yeah. that was. Uh, yeah. No, good video. No. Yeah, not, that there's, no. not that there's anything wrong with that, no. by the way. Yes, there is. <laughs> <laughs> but it was, a, it was a firm no from the three of us, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but we still love HDR despite that, so. It's cool hitting some good roads, guys. Yeah, it looks like in about a half a mile we're going to be uh, making a right. So we're taking a couple different roads on the windy nine right now, just bits and pieces of them, and then we're going to end up making our way south back towards Athens. Where we need to pick up beer. Um, let's see. Beef, bacon, beer, beef, and bacon. Some body wash. And, and, oh, and, wait, and wait, Ty, wait. what do you need? I need pop tarts. Pop tarts. Pop tarts. And, and he says something about a bath bomb. I don't know what that is. Oh yeah yeah. And and and, and, fo and folks, for ninety nine ninety nine, you can see the unedited version of our rides today. <laughs> hey, look! There's Bodine's clothing right there. See that, folks? Bad bombs. I'm still laughing at that. I'm sorry. All right. Hey, build the fizzes, man. Build the fizzies. We better turn uh, the cameras off before we get in trouble. Before we get in trouble. That's All right, make it a right. That's the good shit. This is the good shit. <laughs> Wipers. <laughs> <laughs> Closing up day two, we had some friends over, seven or eight uh, motorcycle friends, met some new ones. This is what we do, this is what it's all about right here. It's day three. We are riding with a group of about uh, 30 folks. We're playing a little sweep action here and uh, super excited to ride with a bunch of good people. HDR is right in front of me. Ty from Tennessee is up there not listening. And uh, there he is. So we're getting ready to go on a really cool ride with a bunch of people. So super excited. You running this? Yep. 
I got it blocked. That a boy. Well, we are out and about, all 30 of our favorite friends, fellow YouTubers, and um, Ty from Tennessee, we call him Typhoon, before we took off said, we should we put our rain gear on? And I'm like, nah, it's not going to rain, what could go wrong? And we got on the road and downpour. So <laughs> that'll teach you where your rain gear all the time. At, at least I'm nice and dry from the waist up. Exactly, exa yeah. exactly. Now, Colin, he's in like a bubble suit, so he's good. That's right, so. What do you guys think so far? It's pretty cool, right? Uh, it's been a great trip, man. Yeah, it's been it was, it was so cool to meet all these folks, and uh, it was also glad that we got some time together, you know, the three or four of us, and then uh, now getting to spend a lot of time with a lot of other folks, and we got the best of both worlds. We hardly ever see each other, and it's nice to get a little time, but... Uh, a blessing to have all the friends like this and and uh, be able to ride together. So we're yeah. looking forward to some great roads. I know. And one thing I've really enjoyed is like several of these, including you know the three of you guys, have rode with a lot of these folks before through all of the events that we've had on the East Coast. So it's great seeing people that you rode with like two or three years ago and yeah. sharing stories and loving it. Man, and every single person you come up and talk to, they're just all great, great folks. Man, what a I'm not usually a, a guy for riding in a big old group like this, but uh, meeting all these people and we're all going to break bread together tonight and ride. It's uh, a ton of fun for sure. No, hey, hey folks, just wanted to bring you back in. So we are in a group of 30 or so, and uh, we are kind of, I'm running sweet, but we're kind of all doing that. And uh, a guy in front of me was uh, having problems with his saddle bag because he was uh, trying to get it all latched while we were riding. And it didn't seem like it was taken, so he really needed to pull over, so he did. And, you know, while I'm not a, a, a professional rider when it comes to, you know, sweeping and leading, you're never going to leave your wingman, right? So, so we all... Uh, we all stopped, and then we got separated from the group, and and um, you know, too far away for comms and cell phones weren't connecting because we're out in the woods. But at the end of the day, it's uh, it's still cool. We're getting some great riding in, and, and nobody's hurt. And uh, you know, it just proves that you know every place you are when you're riding in a big group like this, you got to pay attention, and you can't leave anybody behind. Everybody comes off the mountain, right? HTR. That's exactly right. you got to get everybody from the group back to the starting. Yep. And I think we counted. What happened? We ended up pulling over and we're able to get a hold of somebody and the group's going back to the uh, where we started. So yeah. we're all heading back there. So no harm, no fall. Yep. We ended up uh, kind of pulling over. And, you know, sometimes in these uh, areas that you go off, kind of off the beaten path, you don't have cell service. But we actually found a spot that we did have cell service. And, yeah, we were able to connect and uh, everybody's heading back to the hotel where we started out yeah all good i know we're having a big dinner tonight we've just met like 30 plus people here's a picture of the group getting a safety briefing right there boom and uh you know i think that the folks that are setting this up really did a nice job but stuff is going to happen when you got that many bikes and i think everybody's handling it well and we're all going to have dinner tonight uh we're not quite sure where but uh some logistical problems with the hotel but we're all uh well, hopefully i think we'll work yeah, we're all pretty resilient people. We're going to find a place and figure it out, right? So, isn't it, isn't it cool these old towns have flags all over, man? I just I love that. Really neat. America. America. All right, do we need a blocker? Nope, not for six of us. I got, I got you covered. <laughs> all righty, folks. Hey, thanks for uh, hanging with the six of us, and we look forward to sharing a little bit more about uh, the brother and sisterhood and the fun we've been having in the beautiful... Windy Nine in Ohio. Well, another day. We got a little uh, sheriff's leading us out of here, and another thirty bikers for some rides. Thank you. That's kind of nice. Y'all didn't have to bring the police just for us. We were 
riding a triple nickel. Go to your right, go. No. Nope. Or is that Toby? It's Sorry. Toby, yeah. Oh, look, he's going to block here for us, too. That a boy. It's pretty nice. We got Saddlebag with us? Yep. <laughs> right in front of me. Hey, da hey, Dave, by the way, we we say that with love, brother. I know you're going to be watching this video, and we are uh, just glad you're safe, and uh, that was kind of a cool story, so. Ah. Saddlebags. Saddlebags is his name. Saddlebags. The locals waving us on. It's like a flipping parade. That's what this new live stream is. It's the Saddlebag live stream. <laughs> You're welcome, Dave, for the new name. So, folks, we are on the Triple Nickel HDR. There's a couple bikes up in front of me. We're having a couple calm issues with our other buddies, but uh, we are on the 555. We're on kind of the beginning part of it, but we're a group of, what do you say, HDR, eight or nine bikes here, and they had a couple group, right? Yeah, about eight. We, uh, we met at a Sheets in Zanesville, Ohio. Sheets, the best gas station a place to stop on the planet matter of fact here's a picture of the whole group and uh, a lot of bikes again man it's been been fun and Toby Northern is uh, leading this little group and I think we're gonna go up with the convoy about halfway and then we're gonna have to uh, to break off just from a timing perspective of some travel and other friends visiting us but Jack we got great weather considering what we thought was gonna happen didn't we uh, we thought every day it was going to be a rain, a total washout, and the weather's been really cooperating. Yeah, we haven't, knock on wood, we haven't put rain gear on once. Oh. <laughs> and only once we really needed it, and it was only 15 minutes, it cooled us off, so. Yeah. it's It's been good, because we, we were talking about, we brought cards, because we thought we were going to get washed out all day yesterday, and we were able to ride. It worked out yep. pretty awesome, so. Well, we're going to tear up the triple nickel. It gets a little more technical and fun here in a little bit, but thought I would share a little bit of HDR with you guys. And uh, if you can do something like this, and I, we're not big group riders, we prefer the three or four of us, but this has been pretty cool. Sing it, HDR, sing it. I've been wanting to do that. I've been wanting to make like early, early songs. <laughs> hey, did you ever hear it? I'd rather ride my motor sick instead of eating a pickle. Did you ever hear that song? Nah. That's a real song. I'll yeah. provide it for you. Man. You're making crap up again. I, I, no, I'm serious. I'm uh, sing me the chorus. I would rather ride my motor sick than go eat a pickle. Alrighty, folks. So those of you that... Can you please comment in the comment section? Is he making that up? Because he okay. has a tendency to make up stories occasionally just Wait. maybe stretch the stretch the truth Wait. story time with harley day rider that's what we're going to call this video but we are i think we're uh, in a group of more now right we got probably 10 15 with us so we we decided to wait to get all together close until we were getting on the technical part of the triple nickel <laughs> yeah. not sure that makes the most sense but hey we're followers today so <laughs> So, no, I appreciate the stories, HDR. You always are. You, it's like an encyclopedia, dude. It's education every time I talk to you. Encyclopedia of nonsense. <laughs> uh -oh. I should use some of those stories for my, like, uh, HDR in the garage, huh? Good yeah, you should story? make a new series. Yeah, good story. Stories with each. And you know what? You should be sitting in the garage and smoking a pipe. Smoke my pipe. I got to make it live. I got to make it look good. Yeah, because you, you're, you're one guy that can really pull off the pipe look.
well, all good things must come to an end. It's uh, been an amazing trip. We are all uh, heading home our different directions, and it's been a fantastic, really, three, four days of, uh, four days, I guess, of riding and friendships. Uh, you know, the event we came to was the Ohio Windy Nine in uh, outside of Athens, Ohio. Some, uh, some amazing roads, probably most well known for the triple nickel, um, and we rode that yesterday. Just a, a really good event, just some quick thank yous to uh, some fellow YouTubers, uh, Mr. McStash, uh, Toby Northern, I, mean, I think he goes by Toby Adventures, as well as Rogue Mine Andy, I'm gonna put the links to their channels. As somebody who's arranged an event that had 30 or 40 people at it, it's never easy. You can never make everybody happy and you do the best you can. Um, I think everybody had some fun, got to spend time together, um, hit some good roads and nobody got hurt. At the end of the day, that makes a great, great trip. Uh, the coolest thing is I got to spend some time with five or six really close friends and um, made another 25 friends that I kind of new but until you shake hands and break bread be safe out there folks check out a friend and we'll see you on the next one bye bye